Hey, bud. You got the best nails I've seen all month. Best in what way? Um, the thickest and curviest and longest. <laughs> yeah. so, so that's good, huh? Well, it is for the video. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I would assume... What if I didn't do anything? Just let it go. Well, if you did nothing, some of these nails, like this one, which has grown over the side and back into the skin, that would eventually cut into the skin and you would end Your up problem. with an infection. Uh, right, so you're here just at the right time because none of these right now is breaking through the this, skin. This one I stubbed. Yep, yeah, looks like you lost that one. Yeah. So I only get to trim nine today. <laughs> okay. I suppose the check's in the mail and for the commission. <laughs> Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We good? All right. What kind of commission would you want? A uh, large sum of money. Yeah, that's that's not out there. <laughs> I'll give you a free pair of uh, non non uh, rubber gloves. I don't know what I'd do with them. <laughs> cutting, cutting it back, huh? Yeah, so when I'm doing this, I'm cutting Ouch. back, sorry, I am cutting back pretty much whatever's not attached. And you shouldn't have any discomfort. So this one you can see is growing sideways. Mm -hmm. And we would call this a ram's horn nail. and it'll come off in chunks. Have these given you pain inside your shoes at all? Um, or because of the neuropathy you really just don't feel? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they have. I, okay. Ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go ahead. Well, I, I've got shoes with laces in them, and sometimes I jam that in there. It hits something. Jam what in there? Jam my shoe on. Oh, okay. Even though it feels a bit tight? Yeah. Okay, try and relax your foot a little bit here. There you go. If you need me just to take a little break, let me know. Once we get these short, um, they'll never be this uncomfortable to trim again, by yeah. the way. Good. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell, is this skin that was growing up under the nail or is it the nail? Something's sore there. Okay. We'll move on. I'm going to just lower you here a little bit. <coughs> so do you live alone or in an assisted I living? Have, or? I, have a, I have a son living with me. Okay. He's in charge of the grass and the snow. And, oh, something good. Something got under the knife there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you know, I'm not drawing any blood or anything at this point. Um, they're just real, I think they're just very sensitive because they've been so thick and so long. But that's also a good thing because you said you had ne total neuropathy down here, but you're feeling this. So, in a way, it's not a bad thing that this is hurting. It tells me that your neuropathy is not complete, which is good. Well, the thing that bothers me is when I I need to take the walker to get around mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, if 
when I get off of here, I could walk from here to the door sometimes without any problem. Sometimes I could fall down. Right. Well, if you know, if you again, if you get that B12 up, in your case, that yeah, that that's, that's, might be the cause. That's what the doctors. Yeah. How did you get connected? Relax your foot here for me. Mm -hmm. How did you get connected with the doctors at the university who sent you over there? Um, let me think. Somebody did. Your primary doctor? I suppose that's who it was. Okay. Maybe there was a neurologist over there that your doctor knew. I was. think that could be it. Yeah. I think it. I think it was to to get the neurologist. Okay. And you like this person that you worked with over there? Yeah, and the the other one would. He, I guess you'd call him the general practitioner. His name is Ofstedal. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I got a problem with X, he sent me to that guy. And if I got a problem with Y, he sent me to that guy. Okay, so your primary doctor is at the U as well then? Well, I, I've, I live in Plymouth and okay. I go to West Health or started oh, going okay. to West Health for mm -hmm. different reasons. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of going to both of them. Okay. Uh, depending on what the problem is. Now, how did you find us? Um, what do you think? I'll give them the commission. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Where, <clears throat> my daughter uh, is kind of in charge of my my uh, health activities, mm -hmm. and uh, she came. How did that come about? Have I seen her as a patient? No. Okay. I can't remember now how she learned of you. Okay. Just always curious. I said. It was because she thought she's been after me to get my toenails taken care of. Mm-hmm. Ouch. I'm sorry. That one seems like it's quite thick, isn't it? It's very thick, and it's also not attached to the skin underneath. Oh. And so I want to... Now, I may not be able to get off as much as I want with this first treatment, so when we see you next time, I may be able to do a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Sometimes if it just gets too painful, we can't go further. I can't remember how she got your name. <clears throat> I, uh, way back when I first started with the Dr. Price at West Health, mm -hmm. and he's since retired, and then... Uh, For your primary doctor? Yeah, yes, West Health, mm -hmm. and now, now there's a guy by the name of Stevenson. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop torturing you on this now, <laughs> and I'm going to come back with a little power hand piece, and we'll thin some of these out a bit. Okay. She's a video. Yes, hmm. and receptionist. She's multi talented. <laughs> oh, that's tender. Okay, now this one looks like it did get torn off. Yeah, it got jammed. Right, and so this is just some of the blood from underneath the nail and the nail came off. New one will grow. Okay. Okay. Now this one does look oh. yeah. That one was digging into the skin. Can you see that? Where it made that big there's a big dent in the skin. And that would be extremely painful. Um, we got it before it actually broke the skin. So a little another month and this would have been a big infected toe. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to go as gently as I can. 
Ouch. How many languages can you say that in? You'd say, oh, oh, something. <laughs> Now, this is going to feel a ton better because, again, I don't know if you can see it from where you are. Yes, I can. There's, there's a great big dent right there where that nail was digging I right in. I see a little mark up on the th end right there, here. Yep. Up on the top of it there. Yep. Right there. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And so that, now that we've got that nail out, that will feel a ton better. Good. Okay. So let's... What, what makes it bend the way it did? You know, sometimes it's genetic, sometimes if you damage the nail bed um, with a, if you injure it, if you drop, you know, a 30 pound frozen turkey on it in your youth, it can damage the nail bed, it can make the nails thick, it can make them change direction. Uh. Lots of reasons it can happen. Somebody shut the door. Yeah, uh, our rooms, unfortunately, they aren't as soundproof as we'd like them to be. That's good because every now and then I scream and. Uh, it's you scare away the patients in yeah, the waiting room? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully someone will hear it. Yeah, they, they, they wonder what the hell is going on in there. <laughs> That one seems kind of thick, doesn't it? They, yeah, both of your big toes are really thick. And again, I may not be able to take off as much as I normally would, um, just if it hurts too much. And also because you're pulling them so far back, you're making me stand on my head. <laughs> what, do this upside down. What, what, what would you like rather I do? Yeah, if you can, oh, okay. If you can just, yeah, relax it a little bit. Oh. Then I don't feel so much like a dentist. Okay, and if you've had enough, you can tell me to stop. No, I, uh, I bow to your wisdom. Okay. <coughs> now we'll thin these out and smooth these down with the little power handpiece. Um, but I want to get off as much of the big chunks as I can, as many of the big chunks as I can. Please, please do. Get off as many chunks as you can. Now what kind of work did you do before you retired? Well, I was originally a uh, basketball, or a <laughs> football, assistant football coach and baseball coach and teacher at North High School. Oh, okay. Long time ago, mm -hmm. before you were born. Okay. And then I uh, found out there better ways of making a living than teaching. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. So I applied at AT&T and they were interested in getting college graduates in their program. And there was a, ah. Okay, one, one more little, one more little cut there. There we go. They uh, had a program for college students mm -hmm. and they, they move you along, promote you. Through the corporate? Yeah, and uh, it was, Best thing ever happened because uh, I became a department head there, and uh, later on they decided they're going to break up the bell system, and they offered different outage deals and mm -hmm. so on. And I took that, and then I became the vice president of sales for the company across the river. Oh, nice! But I tell people that you live in this side of Minneapolis, yeah. There's a body of water between Minneapolis and St. Paul, and you got to be careful. <laughs> you can't, you can't just drive over that bridge. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, I don't share this with a lot of people, but when I first moved to town and I was doing some online dating, and they had a section that said, "Tell us about yourself." 
I wrote, I think I'm pretty adventurous. For example, the drive from Minneapolis to St. Paul doesn't scare me. <laughs> I've done it many, many times. Beautiful. They Beautiful. didn't appreciate this. Yeah. <laughs> I tell people that all the time. Right. Yeah, I, know, I think I know St. Paul better than most of my friends who are born. They're, they're still complaining about the hockey team going over there. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get over it, huh? Yeah. Well, I, when I worked with... There's a company over there called Brown and Big You probably never heard of it. Publisher. Huh? Publisher. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we uh, produce calendars and all kinds of promotional products. We do what you have on. We, we just provide the scrub and embroider it for you. Uh-huh. Anyway, I was used to sales with Lynn, and then uh, I got to the point where I had enough working time in. And, uh, so I retired. So you retired from Brown and Bigelow? Yes. Okay. After working with AT&T for how long? Uh, 20 years, I think. Okay. Do Our company was called Northwestern Bell way back when, and then it became uh, uh, U.S. West, uh -huh. and Quest, and uh, now it's Century Link. Yep. It was a very good company to work for. Just too much here? It's a lot. It's a lot. Let me try turning it down a little bit. Is that better? It's better, but it's still. Okay. I'll come back with a, a less aggressive head on that. I probably shouldn't look at it because it doesn't hurt as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes that vibration just makes your nerves re react. Well, it's not hurting, it's just a vibration. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me again, you, you referred to uh, neuropathy with all this. Is it all connected? Yeah. Well, not to the thickness of your nails. That was something else. Yeah, that's a, that can be a really uncomfortable test. To torture you anymore. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, but let me see if I can thin it out a little more with this. I just don't want to leave any sharp edges here. Sand, sandpaper. Yeah. All right, so the amount of nail that I got off 
of your feet yes. is probably about 75% of what we'll do on a regular basis. There's way more to take off. Really? But, yeah, but because it's really uncomfortable this time, we'll wait until next time and get it a little bit more. Okay? Yeah. Um, and the next time you'll schedule me? For about two and a half months and, uh, and get you in to do this. Okay? So um, I'm going to, we'll stop filming now.